want my dad's hit me good to be in the court. I've been blessed. I'm glad today that Jesus came and died and he gave his life that I could have life. Uh, I love the songs. But you know what? The Bible says that we're begotten by the Word. Uh, I believe when we, I believe the Word, when the Word is preached, not only are we begotten by the Word, that, but we're cleansed by the Word. We're kept. We're kept by the Word of God. And, uh, you know, it's so good to be in the house of the Lord today. I have, uh, I was up this morning about 5 o'clock. And, and this is the morning, the morning that God wakes you up. you got to get up and, and you got to study a little bit. Of course, I do that quite often. But I'm glad today that that I'm saved and I'm on my way to heaven. You know, that's the main thing, that we're on our way. One day after a while, we're going to give all this old life away. We're going to be, trans we're going to be translated or transformed, whatever you want to call it, but we're going to be, we're going to leave this, these old bodies and we're going to go to be with Jesus. And that's what we're looking for. We're looking for the day that we can go to be with the Lord Jesus Christ. Won't you pray for me this morning? Uh, there's a lot of COVID. There's a lot of things. A lot of sick people today. You know, there's a lot of people today that would give anything to be here than in the hospital. But you know, they don't have that option. They don't have that option. They, they can't come today. And uh, Sister Karen, I'm sorry about your Aunt Goldie. I'm really sorry about her. We need to keep praying for her. In uh, your, have your Bibles. You know that one day after a while, we're all going to be, we're all going to leave. You're not going to stay in this body forever. And you're not going to stay here forever. There's going to come a time that we're all going to be leave this old world. Now listen, you know God has given us a, a, a mind and knowledge and faith enough that we can accept Jesus Christ in our life and we can go to be with Him. But we know that we know that He came and He died. He gave His life that we could have this life that we could have that we could have this morning. God, God gave His Son. A wretched for our sins. We've heard the songs about the blood. We've heard songs how Jesus saved. Jesus still saves. Amen. That blood is still real. God is still God, and beside Him, there is none other. We live a life in this. We live here. Uh, some, some of us. Uh, we live, some of us, uh, like there is no, like there is no heaven or no hell, like there is no hereafter. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you for, that, that every man and every woman, boy and girl, has given a chance to receive Jesus Christ in their life. They'll never go out of this life until without a chance to make that choice. And you know something about something that's got a choice at this day to make that, to make a choice today of whom you will serve. We can serve God and we can go to heaven. We can serve a mammal and we can, we can go to hell one way or the other, but there's no man can see that God sent that soul to hell. Because if a man, if a man goes to hell, it's his own choice. Amen. I'm glad to be here this morning. If you have your, if you have your Bible, I'm going to read a little bit in, uh, in uh, six, six chapter, a uh, sixth chapter of uh, of uh, Galatians. Uh, I've, uh, I think I've preached on this time or two before, but it don't matter. 
but anyway, in the, in the, in the sixth chapter, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna start with uh, we're gonna we're gonna start with the uh, fifth verse. For every man shall bear his own burden. Let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teaches in all good things. This is now. This is the one I want the first. I want you to take heed to be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he shall he that soweth to the flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And let us let us not grow weary in well doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Listen. I know about that reaping, I know uh, back in the day, and I, I know God has forgiven me for everything that I've ever done. I wasn't a very good boy, and, and so the things that I've done in, that, in, 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 in the place, in, in, in the past, Brother Clifford, before I got saved, the things that I did, don't you ever think that I, and I know God forgive me, but there's a lot of things today uh, that at night, when I'm laying on my pillow, that comes back to me, and and I, I call that reaping. And so we reap what we sow. But you know when uh, when we when we do all the things, and I always told my boys, boys, you better watch what you do. All the things that you sow today, these uh, these bad seeds that you sow, brother Ernest. One day after a while, uh, that you're going to reap. Don't you never think that one day that you're not going to reap. The book said you'll reap. And you're going to reap what you sow. Listen, if you sow to the flesh, the Bible says that of the flesh you shall reap a corruption. But if you sow to the Spirit, you shall out of the Spirit reap life everlasting. I'm looking for life everlasting. I'm not looking for the time that 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 when He says, "Depart from me, you workers of iniquity." I want to hear uh, Brother Tack. I want to hear him say, "Well done, uh, thy good and faithful servant." You've been faithful over a few things. I'm going to make you ruler over me. I'm going to go to heaven. I want to I see what it looks like. Listen, I've read about it. I, and I've heard about it and preaching. I've, uh, I've envisioned it I've so many times uh, during the day and night. And I've envisioned Brother Ernest so many times uh, that I want to go there. I want to see uh, what it looks like. I want to see uh, what it looks like on the other side. Listen. I, I can read about it, I, I, no matter how much I read about it, I listen, they say a picture is better than a thousand words. I, I can read about it all I want to. I can envision in my mind uh, what it looks like. But I'm going to tell you this, it's going to be real uh, one day after a while. Brother uh, Clifford, I don't know, uh, uh, listen, I don't know how, uh, how, how the, the gate of pearl and the walls of Jasper. I, I've never seen uh, anything like this. I've never seen all the, the I've never seen uh, all the, the beauties of heaven. I've never seen them other than in, that can come in my mind. But, but I know one day uh, that I will. But I've read about them and I will. You know, uh, when I was a young, when I was a youngster uh, back on the farm, old corn and uh, working on the farm, listen, I, I wanted to get away from that farm. I just wanted to get away. I just wanted to go somewhere. And you see, when I was in school, I read about I read about the Grand Canyon, and I read about I read about the uh, petrified forest. I read about all these things, unbelievable things. Uh, how can there be uh, a timber, a tree uh, uh, that's turned to stone? It can't be. Uh, uh, but yet I read about it. Uh, and I wanted to see it. I want it uh, proof. Uh, I'd rather deliver what I know. Uh, I don't have to have proof. Uh, I know heaven is real. Uh, and I know one day after a while, uh, if I hold on uh, uh, to the Lord, that I'm going to go there. Uh, and I'm going to see that. Uh, I used to see these things uh, uh, that I envisioned uh, uh, when I was in school uh, and when I was out there uh, in the field holding corn. Uh, you see, I wanted, uh, I might have been working uh, and I might have been digging, uh, but my mind uh, I was somewhere else uh, uh, where I wanted to be. Uh, you see, I wanted uh, to see these things uh, that I read about. Somebody uh, had seen these things uh, because they wrote about them. I wanted to see 
him after myself. I, I brother, listen I, I to me today. And as I got a little older, I, I listen. I didn't have a car. I, I didn't have no money. I, but I had a good thumb. I, I brother, listen I, to me then. Back then, I, you could get a ride. You can't get a ride now. I, I brother, wish to, I'm in tiny. I was talking about a guy over in Hooterville. I listen. I, this guy, you can tell him I will see. After a while, when we get back from town, but when we got to town, he was already there. He hitchhiked and he beat us at the town. And this happened many times. I mean, you see, I wanted to see these places because it was in my mind. I had to see them because it was unbelievable. I read about it. Uh, the meteor crater. Uh, I said it can't be a uh, mile wide. Uh, just like a bowl. Uh, that inside of it. Uh, uh, what it was. Uh, I thought I seen it. Uh, I brother listen uh, to me today. Uh, and when I got uh, to the petrified forest, uh, uh, there was uh, uh, trees uh, uh, that was uh, uh, that was turned to stone. Uh, I even brought a piece uh, uh, back with me. Uh, I picked it up. I wasn't uh, I was supposed to, uh, but I did. I mean, you see, I see these things uh, for myself. Uh, why? Because uh, I made up an effort uh, to go there and to see them. Uh, I am making an effort uh, to go to heaven. Uh, I want to see uh, the gates of pearl. Uh, I want to see uh, the walls of Jasper. Uh, I want to see. Uh, the streets of gold. I brother, listen. As God, I made these things. I happen for us that we could go and that we could be at peace forevermore. I brother, listen. The old bones. I won't be hurting anymore. I brother, listen. I don't have. I when I I sit down. I sit more on the ground. I don't have. Uh, something uh, to hold on to uh, uh, to get up. Uh, I'd rather I believe uh, that I'll have a new body uh, like it to his. Uh, I believe I'll have a body uh, that can run uh, all over heaven. Uh, I'd rather tack uh, and you'll have to worry about uh, all the old pills. Uh, anymore. I even throw them away. I brother listen and I believe. I don't listen. I believe today. I know when we get there that we'll have a crown of righteousness. I want to be there. I want to give him. I crown him. I give him. Amen. And Lord of Lords. I brother think for one way that we can get there. And that's the blood of blood of Jesus Christ, of the blood that he shed at Calvary. Sometimes I wonder how in the world that he done it. How in the world? Listen, I told me that he was Jesus, but he was a man Jesus. When he I was suffering for you and me. I brother, listen, he was flesh and he hurt just like we hurt. I brother, listen, I but he took uh, the stripes uh, for you and me. I uh, brother, listen, he took the pain. Uh, he took the rejection uh, and the humiliation. Uh, he took it uh, that we uh, could be saved. Uh, you know why he took it? Uh, that I could go uh, and see the things. I uh, brother, listen, uh, that I read about. Amen. Jesus I made a way of Calvary. And when he came and when he shed his blood for us at Calvary. I brother listen when he died. I brother listen and when he I was hanging out there and when he said it is finished. The plan of salvation. I brother heard this time it was written. The plan of salvation. It was finished. I brother listen. I told me today. And you can have uh, the same thing uh, if you're not saved uh, this morning. Uh, I'd rather listen. Uh, you need to be. Uh, you need to give your life uh, to the Lord. Uh, I know uh, that somewhere uh, along the way uh, you've wondered uh, what heaven's like. Uh, I'd rather listen. 
listen, if you wonder what heaven's like, let me tell you how to witness it. You can go there. Amen. You can go there. You can, you can see what it looks like. Listen, I was amazed. When I ran Canyon, I didn't mean a lot to me. It was a big old hole in the ground. But I'll tell you this, I brother listen when I when I went out, I got out and got in the car and headed I headed east. I brother listen to on the on the painted desert. That didn't that didn't bother me much. That wasn't much for me, but listen, when I got to that forest, I brother listen, I was amazed. At that place, I brother listen. That the trees, I was wood. That was hard to believe. I brother tack an old boy out off a hiking creek. I brother listen. Had seen nothing much. I brother cornfield. I brother now. And sometimes our mother would take us up to the E and K restaurant. I don't know. And if he knows where that is or not, but he was there. I brother listen, but the main thing I I want to do today, I want to I want to tell you that if you want to go to this place that's called heaven, you got to make preparations. I got a mind. I got a mind one day to see what it looks like. I want to see what it looks like by the tech. Job said he's going to sit for himself. And not another, I'm going to see it, I'm kidding, for myself. And not another, I won't have to wonder about it anymore. But it's hard. It's hard for other, you know what I went to Cleveland, I had to go, I had to go leave home and go to Cleveland, Ohio. Mother didn't have, it. she couldn't buy my books to send me to high school and I had to go be with my dad in Cleveland, Ohio. And you know, when I started school up there, the first, one of the first things, one of the first things in high school that they gave me, one, they gave me, uh, they, they gave me a, they told me to go to Terminal Tower at the right essay on the Terminal Tower. This, this building was 52 stories high. Lord, I stood there and I stood there and I stood there and I stood there for 15 minutes. I said, how in the world can I go up in that building? Oh, I'm out at the top of that building, 52 stories high, but I had to do it because I had to write something about it because they'd give me, they'd give me that, they'd give me that to do. I had to do it. Amen. So I stood there for probably 15 minutes looking up. Now you can this old boy ain't never seen a building over four, four stories high. I think Hobbs is about the biggest building in town. And, and, and I'd seen an old building like that. And I stood there looking up. You know, people probably thought I was crazy. But see, I hadn't seen this before. I believe that people, listen, and you talk about something that's really going to be something, when the people, the blinded people, I gets over there, when Brother, when Brother, uh, when Brother Noah gets over there, and he, he opens his eyes to the beauty of heaven, he'll probably dance a little. Brother, I'm going to tell you something. I'll wait for something to see when the blind men and, and the crippled Brother, I'm over heaven. Brother, listen to me. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. And you know what? God made a way. And He made a way for you that you could be saved. You don't have to be lost. You don't have to be lost. You don't have to go 30 years like I did. That crazy. You could you get saved. You've heard the word. You can get saved today. You've heard the word. The word has been preached. The word has been done here today. So listen to me. If you get a song, get a song. And you get a song, everybody stand. If you hear this morning, I have to get to the message. Oh. But anyway, that's what I have. Now, I'm going to say this. I'm going to guarantee you something. I will guarantee you. 